Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As of recently, the Salty Simulation 747 has had a huge, huge update. If you're unfamiliar with it, I'll post a link down below in the descriptions. Be sure to check that out. Since the update, many of you may have noticed that your flight plan that you put in the world map no longer auto-populates inside the FMS of the 747. Today, we're gonna take a look at a quick fix if you don't wanna fumble around with those Simbri flight plans. So if that interests you, then I think you should stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Houston, we have a problem. We have a main bus being undervolt. Welcome back everyone. So let's hop right into this today. If the video does help you out, be sure to go down below, hit the subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. So let's jump down here to the FMC and show you our little trick to getting the flight plan to populate. First, I just wanna take you to the routes and just show you that there's nothing programmed in here. And if we go over to the legs, there's nothing in here as well. Starting from the main menu, the way to get this done is we wanna come right over here to the salty tab and click on the little soft key there. When we open the menu, there's a bunch of different options in here that I suggest that you really go through. Some of the biggest ones are the units, the metar data, and your sim brief. But the one we're gonna be talking about today is not in any of these menus. We wanna come down here to the miscellaneous tab and click on the little soft key next to that. When we do, we are gonna have a couple options that are gonna populate here. We can either show our pilot or co-pilot visibility. The second option down is we can sync our flight plan to the world map flight plan. And the third one, and this is really gonna be cool for those of you who like to do these overnight flights and go to sleep while your autopilot's flying the plane, you can tick this on so that it will pause your flight right before your touchdown so you can perform the touchdown on the plane. Now, I think that is really cool. But again, the one that we're really concerned with here is the flight plan sync, the world map flight plan. So we just wanna come over here and tick that soft key and we just need to restart the flight now for these settings to take effect. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's hit the escape key and hit the restart, continue, and I'll meet you back here in a second. Welcome back everyone. So one thing I do wanna stress is that you can't just go up and hit the restart button for your flight. You have to go back to the main menu, go back to the world map, reload your flight plan in the world map, and then spawn back into the aircraft. If you just hit restart like I just did, it will not auto-populate everything in the FMC for you. Now, if we go down and check out the FMC, we go over to the legs page, we can now see that our entire flight plan is put in here. And if we scroll through the pages, we can see every waypoint has been input. But one thing you will notice, you can still get a discontinuity. I do recommend that you just pan through all the different waypoints. If you do see a discontinuity, it's very simple to fix that. All you need to do is to go up here to the soft key of the waypoint right before it, click on it, and then click on the soft key for the discontinuity. It will get rid of that. Go down, hit the execute button that's got the little green light above it, and that will go ahead and alter and correct your flight plan for yourself. All right, so I hope this video helped you out today. If you have any other questions, please post those down below in the comments section, and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. Thanks everybody for joining us here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all of my flight server friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see everybody on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.